any more glamorous words in the English language than Miami Beach? There are no more glamorous words than Miami Beach. <laughs> Prairie residents may seem to the passerby like an impenetrable fortress. It's certainly a house that does little to give away its secrets. Piers, it's on stilts. It's like a giant concrete tree house. This has just been dropped into the city. Look at this! That is just a massive root ball. It's like a piece of sculpture. Climbing the bronze and steel staircase into the belly of this home, it's difficult to anticipate what we might find. Well, I've come in from the city and all the hubbub and bustle. And I feel like I'm in Sri Lanka, not the center of South Beach, Miami. I'm transported from all that noise, cars, congestion into what feels like some kind of walkway in a tree canopy. But also, I'm not really sure what's outside and what's inside. This is a house that opens up like no house I've ever seen. This ambiguity, the blurring between interior and exterior, only works for real where temperatures consistently hover between 20 and 30 degrees. When you meet a class act, you know it. And this house is a class act. Talking of class acts, Taylor, what are you doing? Hello. Taking a few photos. Have we found a photogenic house or what? I think it's so rich materially and texturally it's an experience that most contemporary buildings deny us because everything is just surface, everything's white. And actually here, every material has real substance. I'm actually already feeling overstimulated. Yeah, no, it is. It's I think I'm going to have to have a lie down. <laughs> <Are you really? laughs> a cup of tea. <laughs> it is overstimulating, everything about it. I mean, just looking up there now. It's kind of prod every bit of it's kind I know, of prodding I know, you. It's just like, come and look at me, come and look at me. But look at that, look at the glasses that, across the top that. with it against the sky. But it's kind of like and more is more. It's oh, like less no, is less. No, more is more when it's done so brilliantly. And this is done so brilliantly. I mean, if you are feeling overstimulated, this is a room to come and de-stimulate yourself in, isn't it? Do you mean by having a lie down or something? Yeah, I do. It's exactly what I oh, mean. I've got it first. <laughs> <sighs> I mean, there's something about the way it's been crafted that is very special. I mean, everywhere we look, there's real skill, care and joy and passion. And actually a passion for getting it right. Ooh, I think... Ooh, Piers, look what I found. What have you found? The model of the house. God, it looks so simple when you see it like this, when it's made out of balsa wood and cardboard. Everything looks simple when you make it out of balsa wood and cardboard. You'd look simple if I made you out of balsa wood and cardboard. I look simple and I'm not even made out of balsa wood and cardboard. This house has everything. It has flamboyance with a precision and a craft and a care that you never see married to this theatre. And this house moves me enormously and moves on my own thinking about the power of architecture. Whether it's this place or maybe the heat of the night, together they do strange things to a person. Hey, Pierce! Is this to Miami? What are you doing? You're not going swimming, are you? It's a reflection pool. You reflect. You don't swim in it. Oh, don't be such an architect. Oh, such an actress. 